Tyler Miller, and you were with General Patton and General Eisenhower. I wasn't recording, now I am, I see the numbers. And this is Mrs. Mills. From, and you're from Oregon? No, I'm from, from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Get over here and get your picture. I, I was in it. I'm in there. Yeah. And uh, my dad was also in World War II. Yeah, he was uh, with General Patton, 3rd Army. He also was in France. They call it the Sons of Biche, Biche, France. Yeah. Are, are you a son of Biche too? No. No. Uh, okay. He didn't go to France. <laughs> but he had a son, they used to go with the 40 and eighters. He was yeah. a 40 and eighter. You ever hear of those? No. 40 men and eight horses? They were the Sons of Biche. <laughs> they, they, that, that, and he was a special club just for the guys who went to France. Uh, they called it the 40 and eighters, 40 men and eight horses. I are, know. are you, uh, you go to the uh, American Legion or? I've, I've been three years and I was two years before. My father was a county commander uh, two times and a, and also tri-county commander in New York. So uh, we got, I'm going to have to keep in touch with you. I'm going to put this on my channel and uh, you can watch it later, okay? All right. You want to see? I'm going to, because I don't, very, not too many of you guys left. Did you watch Trump the other day? He had a one... He had a, a World War II veteran on there. How come you weren't there? That was great, yes. I went in three years. I was in three years. I was in. You told him that. That's okay. Well, God bless you, man. Give me, yeah. give me a hug, brother. You live here in North Fort Myers? I'm in Punta Gorda. Punta Gorda. Mm -hmm. and he's, there got his, yeah. he's got his World War II hat on there. I love you, brother. God bless you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Can I get a hug, too? God bless yeah. you, honey. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I hope you live 100. All right. Keep up. Watch oh. it later. I'm going to put it on my channel. Okay. I will. Okay. I'll, I'll, mm -hmm. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Thank you for your service. God bless America. And thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Bye. So there you have it, people. I met a World War II veteran. And uh, he's in his 90s. Not too many of them guys around anymore. And uh, I was making, I was doing the interview and I didn't even hit the button. So then I, it would have been longer, but I didn't want to take his whole day up. And uh, here we are in uh, Fort Myers and we're at a real cool place over here. And uh, I just ran into him and uh, let me show you some of the stuff around here. There's my friend again. You were 18 when you went to war? Mm -hmm. So would you enlist? No, I didn't enlist. I was, you I were drafted? Enlisted, but I would have been drafted. Sure. You would have been drafted, but you enlisted, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and and you went, uh, where'd you go right out? You, how long did you, you went to boot camp some or first? Or? I went to Fort Hill. Fort, Fort Leonard Wood. Fort Leavenworth? Leonard Wood. Leonard Wood. Leonard Wood. Was In Missouri. And, and then I went, I went everywhere. It was in Nashville, close to Nashville. So were you, uh, uh, you had your feet on the, you were boots on the ground, soldier, like that? Well, yeah, three years. Well, he was in the artillery. Artillery? Mm -hmm. And he got hurt. Got his leg hurt. Oh, he got a purple bad. heart? No. Nope. No. My father, he uh, lost his hearing from a bomb, but he didn't get a purple heart either. Uh, but Did he, he turn, turn it in, though, and get hearing aids? Yeah, he got hearing aids. But he also had a... He got the Bronze Star, and they uh, promoted him to sergeant in the end. He was corporal. What rank were you? Three four, three four, technical sergeant. Technical sergeant. Technical sergeant. Oh, so you're three, three, three stripes of the T in the middle. Three. Yeah, that's what my father had. Just three stripes. So, 
God bless you, brother. He Thank you. Remember Salada? Oh yeah. He really does. He's doing good. Yeah, he does. Doing good. You gotta eat your oatmeal every morning. That's where you stay healthy. No, he eats. Uh, <laughs> every time. Frosted flakes. Frosted flakes. Well, if that's what he likes. He's not a meat eater. He's more vegetables than a meat. Eater. Okay. He will eat some. You have to eat a little bit. So yeah, eat some fish. Eating. You have eggs. Okay, so he, yeah, eggs are good. Cheese and eggs and things, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll try you know what you should feed them? The pasture-raised eggs. Yeah. It says pasture-raised. Those have a lot of vitamins. So, well, we can get that back home, but you don't want okay. to that down here. They have them in uh, Publix. I've seen them. Oh. Well, my niece has a bunch of chickens with her. Those, uh, oh, that's the best. All kinds of chickens, you know. Oh, man, I wish I could come over and get big, some. Little eggs. Big eggs in there. Here, here, you want to help you? No. I, I, yeah, he, he, he does real good. Okay. Get around. Just so. be careful. Just watch, watch that. Who's driving? I drive. You are? Okay. I drive. I okay. Drive. God bless you, Mama. Are Take you, care of her, all right? You, She's a nice lady. Are you married? Yeah, my wife's inside. I don't want to introduce you. I'm sorry. Man, you got good teeth for uh, your age. Yeah. <laughs> Adam since I was 16. Years old. Really? God bless you, man. Bye, honey.